Have you ever configured a wireless sound on Packet Tracer? In this lesson, we'll do this together. In our wireless sound topology, we'll use an access point here and a server, as a DCP server here. And we will use some endpoints, some laptops. And here there is also a smart device. As you can see, our uh, smart device is uh, connected to the access point uh, because uh, it is a wireless device. But on laptops now, uh, there is no uh, wireless interface. So we will add uh, the wireless uh, interfaces to the laptops. Uh, and uh, then after that, we will uh, create a DCP pool on server. And then after that, we will connect uh, server to the access point. And our all IP uh, assign uh, process will be done through this server to the laptops and the smart uh, phone. Now let's add our uh, wireless interfaces to the laptops. Firstly, we uh, shut down uh, the laptop and then we can take this interface. And instead of it, we will use this uh, Linksys wireless interface. And then we can open our laptop yes as you can see it is connected we will do the same thing on the other uh, laptops yes as you can see all the wireless devices are connected but uh, they will not get the IP address now as you can see here because there is no static uh, IP address and there is no DCP. The IP address that we got here is the APIPA address, the automatic private IP addressing. Uh, these IP addresses are always start uh, 169.254 that xx and here as you can see there's an IP address uh, with APIPA uh, when we uh, create our DCP pool in the server uh, and our, if our uh, DCP server will on then uh, the IP address here will be changed uh, as an IP address in the created pool now let's uh, create our uh, DCP pool on server We'll go to services tab and then we'll create our server. We we'll can say that IP Cisco pool here uh, and our default gateway. And our starting IP address will be this one. This one will be two our subnest mask and we will open our service yes as you can see when we save our pool uh, has come to the below yes now uh, we will connect our server to access uh, point Now let's check our uh, laptops uh, for their IPs. Yes, it's not working. So we have forgotten something, I think. Uh, we'll uh, configure uh, the IP address of our DCP server. We have forgotten this. This is very important. Yes, after that, uh, I think they will work. As you can see, our uh, iPad is, uh, has come to here. Uh, this is the iPad is in the uh, created pool. 
and also this is true for these ones yes and the other one and the smartphone in this simple VLAN configuration example we have configured VLAN on packet tracer we have created our laptops and smartphone and we have uh, connected them to the access point and then we have uh, created the AC people on our server and uh, after that we have assigned the IP addresses uh, from that uh, DSC people automatically. If you like my lesson, kindly do not forget to like my videos and subscribing to my channel because we are getting bigger together.